What's up guys, it's your boy Kenny Corey and today I'm gonna to be dropping off Key at Bush International Airport and I want to give you guys a few tips on how to navigate it and get to your destination so that whenever you're about to go do your drop off or whenever you're trying to get to the airport, it's a lot easier. And of course, I know this is gonna be fun just because we have Key in the video, so, so there's that. And so before we get started, I do wanna say that there's definitely one app that will help you a lot and that is, you guys should definitely download the Waze app. The Waze app is really dope, especially for just doing any type of traveling around any city because it gives you just kind of like those little extra features in an app that like apps like Apple Maps and Google Maps don't give you, like letting you know where cops are, letting you know when there's obstructions in the world, in the road and so forth. Um, right now, it's giving me a pretty good idea of like where the traffic is in the city and things I want to avoid. And it helps me navigate through the city in different places to be able to get to my destination faster. Download the Waze app because that's what I'm going to be using to navigate to the airport tonight. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. Keats has a really nice apartment complex. I might need to uh, move somewhere like here. All right, guys, so I'm about to go upstairs and get key and then uh, get ready to start navigating to the Bush International Airport. All right, so what, what, hold on, Keith, what you doing? Putting my stuff in this bag. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta finesse these airlines. They be trying to get you for an arm and a leg for these bags. Shall I buy? <laughs> and unfortunately, I'm finna finesse Frontier today. I do not like to fly with them. It, it gotta be drastic measures for me to fly with Frontier or Spirit. But when I do fly with them, I'm gonna finesse you for sure because you trying to finesse me because spirit be trying to finesse because they'll charge you $20 for the ticket and $200 for the bag that's a finesse <laughs> so hold on hold on so so <laughs> the bag is is so you can have another bag or something well no so Frontier so you know every airline lets you bring a personal item a carry-on mm -hmm. and then you have a check bag um. the personal item is usually like a purse a duffel bag, a book bag, something like that, something small. But with Frontier, because they the lowest of the lowest of the low, so a personal item is usually free, no matter what airline. With Frontier, it's free too, but they don't allow you to bring a duffel bag or a book bag, only give you like a purse type of style. So I said, what does this look like a purse? So this is gonna be on my shoulder, just like this. Slide my arm in here, and I'm gonna be just like this. So they gonna be like, girl, you know that's too much stuff. I'm gonna be like, but technically, it's gonna fit in that little slot thing, and then I put my duffel bag in the bag. So when I get to where I'm going, I'm gonna put my stuff in the duffel bag. Cause on my way back, I'm flying American. I ain't can't be messing with these raggedy airlines. So make sure before when you book a flight, understand their bagging policy before you be spending an extra hundred dollars on bags. All right. So yeah, I'm as you guys can see, I'm here to pick up Key. Uh, we're getting ready to head to the airport. Uh, George Bush is, it can be a little complicated. That's why I wanted to make this video for you guys. I think I tried to make one almost like a year ago. I even kind of made that video complicated. So I'm gonna really try to simplify this one a little bit down. Key should be done any minute now. And then we're gonna head out and uh, start making our way up there. One of the tips that I was gonna tell you guys uh, <laughs> now that I've been talking to Key is that you guys should definitely try to make it to the airport about two hours ahead of time because you never know what might happen when you're at the airport. So speaking of that, what, what time does your flight leave? 8.30. And it's like 7.50? It's 6.40. No, 6, 6, that's, that's cutting it tight. because We about to leave. But it's traffic in Houston. Too. I feel like, listen, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. If you got clear. Oh, my hair looking real puffy. I just got out of the shower. Oh, it's good. It look good, I think. Yes. Okay, it look fine. It's straight. So, listen. If you got clear, you good. You can get to the airport. Oh, you got clear? Yeah. Now, if you don't got clear. That's a cheat code. That's cheat code. Yeah. If you don't got clear, he's right. You might show up and the security line might be around the door. Around the door. Now, if you don't got clear, I'm gonna give you a little piece of advice too. Mm -hmm. Keep still going to the airport at hour 15 for your flight. If you miraculously get there one day and the line is long, be prepared to spend $200 to get clear to skip the line. Because my clear expired and I didn't renew it until desperate times call for desperate measures. I said, or, I said okay, I'm gonna renew it now because I need it. Or for free 99, y'all can get just early. get there on time early. Forget free 99, you wanna live luxury. Get clear. Okay, it makes you feel like go, you, you be no. It makes you feel luxury. You walk, you skip the line. We don't wait in no line. We B I P. Oh lord, let's go. Let's okay. Go. Can't forget the camera. That's, the, that's just that's another tip. Don't forget the camera. Boy, at places that I done been, it ain't giving no. Yeah, I see dresses for her, her flight. What? I was gonna say. You never dress know who you gonna meet in the airport. But I guess you can be you can be fashionable too. I guess. Period. I be dressed down, chilling. I be in hoodie. I really be, I really move to the airport like I'm a celebrity. I be having shades on and a hoodie so can't nobody see who I am. That's really low key what I be on. Cause I'm gonna have to go through it one of these days. So I'm just practicing. 
cute thing. She thinks she's cute. What? You supposed to think you're cute? Cause if you don't, who will? Period. Oh, let me help you get her to this light. Yes, please do. Cause if I miss it, oh my god. Let out. me see. I'm really using this camera to see how I look. That's why I'm glad I ain't got this little flip thing on my camera because I wouldn't know how to act. Oh, Lord. Anyways, y'all, subscribe to my YouTube. Yes. The link is in the description. I did good? Mm -hmm. Click. Wait, what y'all say? Like, share, comment. What's the order? Like, comment, subscribe. No matter. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell at the top. Physics. Hey, guys. And I know a lot of these tips might seem like pretty basic. But, hey, I, here's one thing you definitely don't want to forget your id card please make sure you have your id card because man that can really make or break you especially if you're in a tight situation trying to make it to your flight i mean i can't tell you how many times i've almost accidentally left my id card or because there is a process to be able to still catch your flight with the id ID card but you don't want to go through that process trust me it's a lot longer and it may cause you to still miss your flight speaking of missing flights key might be getting ready to miss hers right now because she's taking forever Three, two, one. Woo! Let's go. Yeah, just as I suspected. <laughs> Cause why is a carry on a boot bed? That is not no. But I'm telling you, Frontier is the lowest of the low. Wow. Okay guys, so as you're on your way entering Bush Intercontinental Airport, you'll start to see a lot of signs and you really want to pay attention to it because these signs are going to pretty much help direct you to where you're going. So if you're going to the departures in Bush Intercontinental Airport, first you're going to want to pay attention to the signs that are telling you which terminal to go to. For us, uh, Key was flying out of Frontier, so uh, I saw a sign that said Terminal A is for Frontier, so now I have to start following all the signs that say Terminal A. Usually Terminal A and Terminal B are paired together because they're pretty much on two opposite sides of the same building. So uh, you're following the Terminal A signs and you have to keep paying attention because the lanes will start to switch depending on you know what what you've already passed up. It's like uh, I think the first terminal, I think the first entrance or first departure that shows up actually is departure for B. But you want to start passing all of that and um, then you'll start seeing like parking for AB continue to pass that and eventually you'll see like a ramp that goes up and curves to the left and that is the departure for a a lot of the flights out of bush intercontinental probably will be a unless you're actually going out of the country okay so once you go up the ramp you'll usually see like two lanes there's a lane to the left and there's a lane to the right either lane is fine depending which lane you, you feel more comfortable going in the lane to the right i feel like you have to move a little faster because because that's the one that's closer to the door and a lot of people tend to choose that lane more the lane to the left it kind of feels like you can kind of take more of your time whenever you're getting out and saying your goodbyes and stuff like that uh, but me me and key we took the lane to the right and then that's when i got out and uh, helped her get her stuff out the car but i can help you make it to uh your flight go in there and, uh... well according to you i still gotta make it I'll be acting like somebody on this thing tonight. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say that. Y'all wish Keith some luck. She just made it to her flight. Let me get her stuff out the way. Oh. Oh, it's locked. You need to get that on camera. What the hell going on? I'm not about get to it on camera on accident. Yeah, let me on camera. I thought we'd make authentic get, content. Get stuff. I thought we'd be making authentic content. That's not... Why you got three? Oh, why you got like three blankets? No, that's my coat. It's not a blanket. Oh, it was a coat? Yeah, which one is the blanket? It's only the real one, that's the mm -hmm. But make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I am helped Key make it to the airport, and hopefully she, she going to get here on a flight. Freezy, see you guys later on in the next video. Let me see if they let me finesse this day. Make sure y'all uh, subscribe to her channel, too, so you can catch, catch what she's going to be doing when she gets to where she's going. Yeah, I need to put my battery in my camera. Oh, Lord Jesus. All right, I'll let you later, Key. I was about to give you a hug. I mean, she just walked off. Bye, right. guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right. See you guys later.